All right, so hello there. This is a video for the Wisconsin um, Campers Facebook page about Tom's campground. So it's just outside of Dodgeville on the Madison side. We live in Verona. It takes us about 35 minutes to get here. So looking up here, what is this, to the west from where I'm standing, that is the top of the main campground, and that's like where they put all the big rigs. Um, anyway, so this is the drive then to get to the um, tent sites. These are non-electric sites. There are tent sites in the main campground that have electricity. Um, but this is what I have referred to as um, the hill that's got a lot of tent sites that I just think are really terrific. So as coming up the drive, here is a path you can take to get to one of the more secluded um, tent sites. So I will, I'll be back in a minute when I get there. And yes, I'm still walking, but listen to the birds. Oh, see now the bird leaves. Anyways, just wanted to show like, isn't this just great how you walk through? It's beautiful in the fall. Anyways, I'm almost there, and hopefully I did mention that, yes, you can drive back here. All right, here I am. And did I mention Tom's campground? You guys are going to think I'm just doing a sales pitch for them. Uh, but anyways, it's about 15 minutes from Governor Dodge. Um, really nice, quiet campground owned by a farmer, so he owns probably most of the land around this. So this is, and I apologize I didn't do um, the landscape mode on this, but once you start the video, you can't change it. But um, this is just one of my favorite campsites. Isn't this just incredible? So anyways, and as you can see, I'm here on a Saturday and nobody's here. I think it's because of the rain forecast, so. Anyways, this way you can get to more sites, but they have their own entrance. So I will come back when I'm over by them. All right, and now I'm back. And so this is the campsite I just came from. And again, to get to these, you don't have to drive from that one. And that one has its own entrance. But anyways, here is another campsite. Look at the view, really pretty sunsets. And then, so this is like a mowed area, so it's got two campsites. There's no trees in between them, but as you can see, there's quite a bit of distance in between them. And then up there by that tree, that's like where the main drive is. So I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and I apologize for the wind, so it's a little windy. So this, those are those two campsites I just came from, and then the more remote one that was farther back in the woods, and that remote one had its own drive, the, or a path that came off from this road. This is what I always think of as kind of like the big group site on the top of the hill. There are two... Um, fire rings up here. There is no electricity, but they did allow me to... First year we were here, um, I came here because of the Perseid meteor showers, and they let me bring our little travel trailer up here and run a generator. And my sister and I spent two nights watching the Perseids. Um, so it does say there's overflow, I haven't really walked back down in there, but there's a couple of picnic tables, so there'd be a few more sites back there. And then there's this one right here. So, what was that? One, two, three, four camp, tent campsites, five or six if you count up here. I don't know if they would put two people up here who don't know each other. Um, oh, wait. And then, see, now I'm going to make this go really long. Okay, I always forget about this one. So as you can see, oh, look at that. There's like three um, picnic tables down in there. And then there's this one here. I mean, isn't this nice? 
So again, you can drive right up here with your car. I'm here on a Saturday. There is nobody up here. Um, but again, I think it's probably more so because of the horrible weather that was forecasted for this weekend. But really, for you tent campers, this is a total hidden jewel. Um, back in there, there are, or not back in there, but over there in the main campground, there is the shower house. So nice bathrooms there. Totally awesome place, beautiful in the fall run by a farmer so we've been coming here i don't know five six years and we just absolutely love it i'm not going to show you the main campground with all the electric sites um, because the point of this video was to show off the tent sites for the people who were interested in that um, plus i love how the campground's nice and quiet um, so and I really like it how I can get campsites at short notice, so I don't want to show off my favorite sites for travel trailers. Anyways, happy camping everyone.